Meow. Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and it is Thursday, which means I'm finally back on track with my reading your comments videos. I, the last couple of weeks I've gotten them out on like Fridays and I felt like such a big poop ball, but now I'm back on track and we're going to be doing great here. And I actually don't really have anything to say at the beginning of the video like I usually do. Other than that, the live stream is going to start at 5 p.m. today. Going to start at 5 p.m. on Friday, going to start at 7 p.m. on Saturday. All Central Standard Time, and you'll be able to find links in the description down below. But without any further introduction, let's go ahead and get into some comments here. Are you Canadian? Nope, I am not from Canada. I am from America! Fuck yeah! Heading back down memory lane before my interview, this episode always made me laugh so much and it calmed me down a load, so yay. So, memory lane, I would think for people who've been around for a really long time, would be like The Last of Us multiplayer. I did like way too many episodes of that back in the day, probably like 70 or 80 of them. It's easily the biggest series on the channel, and that was before I really kind of found out who I was as a YouTuber and a Let's Player, and it was kind of cool to watch the video and just like cringe at how bad I was <laughs> at like everything. I feel like I was actually pretty relaxed during the video, which is something I had trouble with a long time ago, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just everything about my old self makes me cringe, and I feel like that's just like a human thing. You know, when you ever look at your past work, or your past self, you're always just like, Ew. Especially if you've progressed at all, whatever you're doing. I don't know, maybe it's just me. A lot of people really like the old videos, so good for them. <laughs> Swing point, I love it when you go off topic into a story or conversation. It makes watching you feel more personal to us as your fans, like you're actually talking to us. Besides, we don't come just to watch you play games, we come to watch you. So feel free to break the video game wall more. Just be completely you. Love you, XOXO. <laughs> So, the reason why I brought this one up is because, one, it's a really nice comment, so thank you, Laffy. And two, is like, this is one of those things that I feel like I've kind of learned over time. And it's not that I'm learning the idea of you guys are here for the person more than the game, but I've learned to actually appreciate that a little bit more, if that makes sense. Where I actually take those moments where I'm like, meh, whatever, let's just sit and talk and shoot shit for a little bit. Instead of like, trying to always progress in the game and focus on the game. Sometimes you can have a minute or two where you just sit and talk and don't even really focus that hard on what's going on in the game. And I feel like I've learned that a lot because of live streams as well. Just learning that you guys are here to hang out, and I mean, even though the game is a really good, like, medium to go ahead and have, like, some common talking ground, but it's much more us being able to just sit here and have a good time, really. And the video games themselves help kind of act as a catalyst for creating those fun moments. Kind of like real life, like, goddamn. People get so, at least I feel like I get so hung up on all this, like, how am I gonna make my video? I gotta make sure it's right, I gotta make sure it's funny. God damn, you just gotta have a good time, right? It's not, like, like if you were trying to sit down with a friend, and you're always just sitting there trying to be funny, they'll see it and they're like, ew. You just gotta sit and be yourself, and hopefully people like who you are, right? I don't know. I just had this little, little mind revelation thing as I was sitting here talking about it out loud. So let's see, this is why I like reading these comments, because you guys make me think about things out loud. Sometimes, it's crazy how much... How much more you can think about things if you just say them out loud as opposed to just like leaving it in your head all the time. Okay, well, I guess I kind of did exactly what you were saying in that comment where I just kind of go off my own little tangent. Am I pretty? No. Do you want to be with me forever? No. Would you cry if I walked away? No. She heard enough and was hurt tears ran down her face. Boy grabbed her arm. Boy, you're not pretty. You're beautiful. I don't want to be with you forever. I need you forever. I wouldn't cry if you walked away. I would die. Please, stay with me. I will. Tonight at midnight, your true love will realize they love you. Something good will happen to you between 1 and 4 p.m. tomorrow. It could be anywhere. Get ready for the biggest shock of your life. But if you don't post this to five comments... You will have a relationship for the next ten year. <laughs> Meow. Dye your pink. <laughs> okay, so... I, I don't really know how to explain this to you, but... I don't think I could dye my pink if I tried. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Keep your hair, please don't turn into one of those edgy people. So this was a comment last time where I went ahead and I made a joke about dyeing my hair. I'm like, what color should I dye, guys? Purple? Blue? Green? I don't know, what do you want it? 
And then a lot of people got like super pissed off about it. I think the reason why they got super pissed is because I titled the video, what should I dye my hair? And then they probably didn't even watch the video and they just like left a shit comment. That happens a lot. And a lot of those comments, the reason why I bring this one up is because a lot of those comments, and maybe if you were one of those people, you'll think about this next time. A lot of those comments were not just like, swing point, I like your hair the way it is. It was much more of a, Oh my god, some other YouTuber did this and they're just a shit YouTuber. If you do that, you're gonna be a shit YouTuber. And like, they were naming names. This is kind of dumb. Like, if you don't like something or if you have an opinion on something, you don't have to put someone else down to kind of get your point across, right? That makes sense. So like, some of these were like, Don't be like that stupid man-child Markiplier. Why do you gotta say that? Like, what, what, what did Mark ever do to you? He's a really cool guy, I've met him. He has a really positive energy, he's done a lot of positive things. So to one, go ahead and insult somebody who's done a lot of really awesome things for the community. And then two, to go ahead and just like, generalize somebody based on a choice they made with coloring their hair. <laughs> just kind of seems a little dumb. But I've heard a lot of people's opinions, and they don't want me to be someone that isn't original anymore. They don't want me to go ahead and follow a trend. So what I'll do is I'll keep my, my brown hair, because I'm pretty sure that there's not too many people that have brown hair, so... <laughs> But really, moral of the story is, if you have an opinion on something, please go ahead and express it in a way where you don't have to put someone else down. Because there was a whole lot of that, and that kind of just made me a little, a little disappointed in those people that felt like they had to go ahead and put other YouTubers down just to kind of try to get a point across to me. A little salty, I didn't make it to the stream, how did I miss this? Okay, so this was from my video where I went ahead and posted, like, the results, or not the results, but like, part of a live stream from Google Feud. And then Danielle must not have seen it, so she left this comment, so my tip to you guys, if you don't want to be like Danielle, I call her Pikachu, if you don't want to be like Pikachu, what you gotta do is you gotta go ahead and follow me on Twitter, that's probably the best bet, because you'll see it on your feed, and you're never gonna miss it, because with YouTube notifications, sometimes they go out, sometimes they don't, it's just like, that's like the plague of live streams. you go on Twitch, it's the same problem, you go on Hitbox, it's the same problem, you go on YouTube, it's the same problem. Sometimes notifications don't go out, or people dismiss them, but if you follow me on Twitter, and you check that every once in a while, you're definitely gonna see it. Twitter's on top of their game when it comes to putting tweets in your feed, man. So, follow me on Twitter, the link for that is in the description, and then you ain't gonna miss anything ever. And actually, that's what Pikachu did here. They follow me on Twitter, and they've been at every single stream that they wanna be at. I'm never trusting Swingpoint with my bank account. <laughs> He'd complain that Chairpoint was broken and spend my life savings on 15 leather chairs. <laughs> okay, so this is from YouTuber's Life, where I kinda had like a spending meltdown, because I tried buying stuff and it wasn't working. Anyway, long story short, Chairpoint's kind of cool, and you know what, Chairpoint's kind of making my butt sore a little bit. I don't know if he's just wearing out or what it is, but do you guys even know about Chairpoint? If you watch live streams, you definitely know about Chairpoint, but Chairpoint is my chair that I go ahead and I write people's names on. So, some of them might be faded out because it takes like a day for my back to wear some of these off, and I have to, I have to like pen them in every day or so. But here, take a peek at this. So Chairpoint, I don't know if you can see names here, if you've ever wondered what this is all about. I write people's names across it. People that watch the streams. People that become sponsors, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a... Kind of like a sub button on Twitch, where you can go ahead and subscribe to somebody on Twitch and it's like four or five bucks a month and you get like extra perks like custom emotes and a custom badge, things like that. Well, YouTube has one of those types of features for live streaming and it's called the sponsor button. If anybody becomes a sponsor, let's go ahead and write their name on the chair to go ahead and say thanks and that they... They have my back, right? So that's kind of what my chair is supposed to do anyway. So, yeah, that's what that's all about. And I figured I'd explain it to you guys, because I don't know if I ever really did explain it to everybody here on YouTube. So yeah, it's pretty neat. And like, Chairpoint's getting a little full, which is totally awesome. And I feel like I'm gonna have to start getting like, more creative with where I put people's names, because... I'm running out of space on the back. <laughs> wow, you deserve a million subs. No millions. So this kind of makes me think about what we were talking about before when it comes to, you know, just hanging out with your friends. Like, that's what I consider you guys. You're my friends. We go ahead, we play video games together, and we just have a good time talking about whatever. And especially with live streams lately, like live streams have really put a good energy into me and they make me really, really bond with you guys on a much deeper level, I feel like. I feel like there's a lot of people that I've met in the live streams who I can consider my friends now. We have hung out after the live streams playing Town of Salem, playing Quiplash, playing Cards Against Humanity, like when we really spend that quality time together and and every time I see a comment like that it kind of makes me think about this and like even though it'd be cool that the community would keep growing and we reach like millions or whatever, I'm much more focused on who's here now. And I think you can kind of see that in the content sometimes because 
sometimes I'll have videos where it's like very obvious that I'm trying to tag it and title it properly, and then there's other videos where I just like completely dick off and do something stupid. And that's because I feel like it's much more important to make it so the people who already gave the channel a chance have a really good experience as opposed to always trying to get new people. Which again is why I live stream. I'm not trying to get new people to the channel when we're live streaming. I'm just trying to give people who are already here a much more fun, a much more personal experience. And that means a lot to me. And I feel like I've met a ton of awesome friends, people who I will consider friends for the rest of my life, here through this channel. And I'm very grateful of that. And I guess this comment kind of just made me think about that. So, I guess, I mean, that was the last comment that I have listed here, I'm pretty sure. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for being a part of the channel. Thank you for being at these live streams. Again, it's going to be tonight at 5 p.m. U.S. Central, so that's coming up pretty quick probably by the time you've seen this video, or, or it's already happening, I don't know. I kind of always get this video laid out on Thursdays. <laughs> there's also going to be one on Friday, and then there's also going to be one on Saturday, and then you'll be able to see a notification of the live stream when it comes out, or like right before it comes out, you'll be able to see it on Twitter, or you'll be able to see it on YouTube. And then next week, I think we're going to have four live streams, because next week, Sunday, is my birthday, June 12th. So with all that, thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you at tonight's live stream. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Meow. Meow.